Another meaning of avidya is the different vices that form obstacles the practitioner faces in bhajan. There are four kinds of vice. Duskutota, or vices caused by past evil deeds. Two, Sukotota, vices caused by past good deeds. No, actually, this three, this is Sukritota. This is, you know, U means L, L, R. Mm, there's sometimes are some writing uh, mistakes, like they write. Ah, uh, discreet. Yeah. Discreet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <coughs> yeah, the U is, is R. Discreetota. Vice is caused by past evil deeds. Shukritota. Vice is caused by past good deeds. Aparadota. Aparadota. Vices caused by past offensive deeds. Bhaktyukta. Vices caused in the course of one's devotional service. Vices caused by past evil deeds are counted amongst kleshas. There are five kinds of klesha, avidya, asmita, raga, nesha, apnivesha, apnivesha. Here avidya means considering temporary things to be eternal, foul things to be pure, distress to be happiness, and the inert to be sentient. Asmita means false ego. Naga means seeking pleasure, yearning for it or being attached to it. Vesha means the desire to remove distress or its cause. And Abhinivesha means fear of death. Some also count vices caused by past, by good past acts in the form of absorption and enjoyment amongst the places. By the grace of Sri Guru, all of these vices are easily destroyed. Vices caused by offenses are tenfold in the form of the ten offenses to the chanting of the holy name. Yeah. Vices caused by offenses are tenfold in the form of the ten offenses to the chanting of the holy name. Vices caused in the course of devotion are desires for profit, adoration, and distinction. <coughs> By Sri Guru's grace, the practitioner becomes free, free from them also and becomes blessed with attaining the treasure of spotless worship. Lady Gai Jahara Jarito. Well, it's just listing all of the different all the different vices. Vices means like undesirable tendencies, habits. Um, <coughs> eradicated from our from our being. Okay, please. And this all kind of started with you know this shloka was that the guru bestows divine knowledge right? and destroys ignorance. So 
this is the result. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of all of these bites, so called bite bottles. Yeah. No, it's a different meaning of that. <laughs> the Vedas, the Vedas and associated scriptures constantly glorify Sri Guru. The Vedas constantly sing the glories of He by whose grace. Loving devotion is attained and ignorance is uprooted. Acharyavan Purusha Veda. This is a quote from Chandogya Upanishad. Transcendental principles are understood by he who has taken shelter of Sri Guru's lotus feet and who is surrendered to his service. Some more quotations of Upanishad. To those great souls who recite the Vedas with equal devotion to Guru and God, the purport of all this Vedic knowledge will be revealed. For the sake of acquiring knowledge, approach a guru who is learned in the scriptures and fixed in spiritual consciousness with firewood in the hand. Firewood in the hands. There's a footnote there. I don't know if somebody can find it. Uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam Sri Krishna has said you should know Sri Guru to be me in truth In the Chandogya Upanishad of the Samaveda, the following narration of the glories of Sri Guru can be found. Being sent by Javala, Satyakama Jabal, Satyakama Jabal came to Maharishi Gautama to learn the science of Brahman from him. Being satisfied with Satyakama's loyalty and service to his guru, Rishabha, Agni, Hamsa, and others bestowed knowledge of Brahman <coughs> upon him. Although Satyakama had received knowledge from them, he attained knowledge again by pleasing Gosama. Upa Koshala came to Satyakama to attain knowledge of Brahman from him. And Satyakama engaged him in services like fetching fire and so.
being satisfied with Dupa Koshala's loyal service to his guru, Agni bestowed knowledge of Brahman upon him. Although he had already attained knowledge from Agni, Upakoshala still pleased Satyakama and attained knowledge of Brahman from him and so forth. Such loyal service to the Guru is also often narrated in the Vedic appendix Mahabharata, in the stories of Upamanya, Uttanka, Udalaka, and others. Vede Gai Jahara Chalito. Now, there's a new verse now. It's coming, a new shloka from this. Guru. Guru prayer. You want me to continue or we sit to come? This is no meaning to continue. Do you, you remember anything from this? <laughs> Can you explain again, read and explain? I mean, this is about this is about the the Vedas. Right? No Vedas. It's, 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 it's written. I say to read it from beginning. You not read. How I can explain you? So another meaning of avidya is different vices. Yes. That form. Avidya means yeah. it, uh, ignorance. <coughs> so I have to understand something. I understand something because of my ignorance. I'm a soul, I understand I'm a senses. This is the foolishness. Why coming from my previous sanskara? Read that. Read, there is a mention. I don't remember. Yes. Okay, so there are four kinds of vice. Uh, this advice is four kinds of vice. Got reason of this. How is there? Yeah. Why is it coming? Yeah, go on. Duskritota. Uh. Vices caused by past evil deeds. Yes. Past. In my previous life. Not in this life. And this life also. What? What? English? Uh, bad deeds. Bad deeds. Past, past evil, evil deeds. Evil deeds. What I do in past life? And this life, this is working on me, as an ignorance. Like a karma? No? Yeah, yeah. I have to go through that <coughs> suffering. Because of my ignorance. This is my one ignorance. We cannot blame anyone because of my previous karma is happening in my life. Second. Next one, number two, Sukritota. Mm. Good karma. Sukriti means good. Good karma I do, that also I have to take it. It's saying these are also kind of ignorance. This is ignorance. Yes. Vices caused by past good deeds. Sadha karma. Asadha karma. Both we have to care for. 
गुड कर्मा एंड बैड कर्मा वट वी डू द गुड कर्मा दैट कम्स इन माई लाइफ सब बडी इज वेरी हाईली एजुकेटेड गुड प्रोफेसर बिकॉज ही वॉज वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस लाइफ हिज डिजायर इज फुलफिल दिस इज लाइफ सब बडी बॉर्न इन द रिच फैमिली is good karma i believe you should there <clears throat> like uh, if i have a too much sexual desire because i was monkey in previous life so this come this life Animal to human, naturally it will be that. Yes, beauty is just the so bad karma and good karma. It both has to. We have to accept it now. Good karma bring me in good association. Bad karma want to keep me in bad association. Wrong, wrong thing. We will accept it, right? Here. And we start something again. <coughs> Third. Third is aparad hota tha. Aparad hota. Means I do mistake with other English words. Aparadhota vices caused by past offense, offensive deeds. Yes, mistake do for with others, and that now is happening to me. Fourth is bhaktiyuta. Vices caused in the course of one's devotional service. Means mm. mm. like a hypocrisy. I want to show something, but inside something. This is hypocrisy. Abhishta. Mm. Mm. These are my tendency. Then is also wrong. I think something, and I saw something. These are all previous aprads, and I will carry more, more and more. Go on. <coughs> the vices caused by past evil deeds. Yes. This is what they are. Those are counted amongst kleshas. Kleshness, bodily sickness, mental sickness. He mentions, he mentions five different kinds of klesha. Klesha, we can also say affliction in English. Affliction. Avidya. Ignorance always not good. I listen a hundred times, but ignorance is still there. I cannot un- understand that I am a soul. I not come for funny activities in life. We have to settle it. Asmita, Asmita says it means false ego. 
انگلیش بات I want to be doer. I want to be organizer. And again I will do my thing with my false <coughs> What is the key point? I forget that I have a living soul. I forget that I have a salute. I have to be in that and to serve in that. We don't do these things. We do something else because of my previous karma. So why Guru make mercy then change in life? Because he fixed, tried to fix inside me to remove the false ego, remove the bad karma and fix in your present our spiritual identity. And then everything becomes Christian to me. And we don't want that. <laughs> and this is the problem. <laughs> Because we not accept that. <clears throat> Why? Because of my previous karma. Somebody gave medicine, I want to take poison. Mentions rag, raga. Raga. English word they give here says um, seeking pleasure or yearning for it or being attached to it. Yes. Attachment to pleasure, hankering for pleasure. But what we do for previous sanskara, material senses, we think that way. Material relation. We think this will be giving me pleasure. Why happening? Because of my previous sanskara. They want to make me animal, pig, dog. Because I was in this world, in that body. My nature is not good. Sit down there. Next is <coughs> Vesha. Vesha says, Envy. Yeah. Envy. 
Christ. I know so outside, but I inside in my mind keeping a Without so because of my previous sanskara, which is of my nature to do that. No reason for fighting, but I enjoy to fight. <laughs> no result will come, but I cannot digest my food without fighting. This is the angry. <laughs> <coughs> See, devotional practice, thirteen, fourteen, twelve chapter. I always recommend to read that six from fourteen, thirteen, fourteen to twenty. Six is devotional practice. Twelve chapter. If you Bhagavad Gita, you practice six sloga, then you understand devotion. What is devotion? Mm. And you do many things, but not reading that, no meaning. You don't understand devotion. That has to practice in my life to change myself. You want to see that? You have in your pair of uh, six sloka. Bhagavad Gita gave. Udhavji, take your Bhagavad Gita. Twelve chapter, thirteen fourteen. Twelve chapter. Practice our day to day life and check how many mistakes we do. What is the problem? <coughs> If you want to be devoted, you practice that. Very easy. Conclusion or all. And if it's not happening, we need the Guru Kripa. Because it's not happening to my life. I cannot practice this. This is the reason of this teaching. Bhagavad Gita chapter 12. No, uh, 12 chapter. 13, 14. Yeah. <coughs> One who is not envious. You see? First word. But who is a kind friend to all living entities. Wow. All kind friend to all living entities. You cannot fight with anyone. If he is an enemy, you cannot fight. If his fighting is coming from your mouth or your mind, you are not devoted. You have to try to get mercy. One who does not think himself a proprietor. Mm. Nothing belongs to me. I have no uh, material. One who is free from false ego. Mm. And equal both in happiness and distress. One who is always satisfied. 
have engaged in devotional service with determination and whose mind and intelligence are in agreement with me. Mind, <laughs> and consciousness is redundant. Agree, no fighting is there. Ego is not fighting with your consciousness. Harmony. Harmony. Inner harmony. Our inner harmony is not there and we will not go. Why? Because my mind is captured, uh, captured because of my previous false ego. Previous karma, false ego is very controlling me. I want to run away, but he is not leaving me. <coughs> so inner envy of my false ego, I am this and I am that, it comes out from out to show it that I am in envy with you. One who has all these qualities <coughs> is very dear to me. Krishna say, you don't need to do, I will come to you. You are dear to me. I not come to you because this quality you are missing. One of that quality you will miss, I will not come to you. You cannot be my dear. All six. Only six practice in life. <laughs> Simple. Make it a practical that I will do it. You are devotee. Right? <laughs> Second, it will take six. Until how much time will take? Mm -hmm. Only how much you will digest, how many times you will remember that. Previous karma will control you to do that. Your previous karma is good, it will come automatically, and not then it will not come. Right? <coughs> it's very difficult. I am practicing. Sometimes I do mistakes. First, what is the light? Envy. 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 Kindness. Not a proprietor, not an owner. Friend of everyone. I have a heavy conflict with Atulanda. Guru of South America. He says, friendly to everyone is nowhere. I say, I don't believe you. He <laughs> <laughs> He's nowhere. Means he's not following any guru. 
I said, they follow the Guru. And who keep MB, they no follow the Guru. They are nowhere. <coughs> Paramadati Maharaj was sitting here. He was talking like this. I say, wrong. I don't agree with you. Man. You have to understand this. See Bhagavad Gita Khatis. We have to friend our family. Yeah. Because he is preaching that somebody not follow to one guru because he is friend of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! My God! One of my best friends, Balaraja, is from Bolivia. We went to lunch in his home, and he is driving the car, and he is teaching to this. Paladana, he is also Prabhupada. They want to fo to follow them, and he was following to Narayan Maharaj. So you say his friend of everyone is not nowhere. I said, sorry, you are wrong. Your teaching is wrong. So this is the very important word. Is a wrong teaching, wrong problem, the project you are giving. And they collapse. And if you not change that teaching, he will also collapse. I see this. You cannot change by your thoughts. Your karma will bring you. If you will change, you will collapse. Nobody can help us. Or Marsi Guru can change. Why the Guru? Ignorance will move. He can move our ignorance. <coughs> and this ignorance is nothing, our false ego. This is my ignorance. When you do mistake, you watch. Totally your mind is in control of false ego. Watch. Anyone you do mistake, you see you, when you are standing in soul or, or your false ego, your senses, or some place, material place, and that is right. So I have to change. Reason of fighting is what? Some subject of senses. Fighting material. Fifteen. Next. Next verse. We have to revive everything. Right? He for whom 
No one is put into difficulty. And who is not disturbed by anxiety. Who is steady in happiness and distress. This one is very dear to me. Wow. It's not up to such this devotion. Why you bother? We not come because we are not practicing. Can you explain here in this, the meaning of distress? In this case, he's the English master. <laughs> I think it's talking about balance between happiness and unhappiness, happiness and worries. That they're not wrong, but there should be equal balance. And he says, who's steady in happiness and distress. Not be distressed about matters in the, in the material world. First thing Guru Dev said, you have to understand material and its future. But we have so much materially captured that we become distressed. Small things happen. <laughs> Unbiased. <laughs> <laughs> we have to chill. Huh? Chill. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Relax. 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 Then we are Immediately also, we become up and down. Up and down. Mm. Happiness or distress, we should be in middle balance. Huh? Like not losing the consciousness. Brother, mm. is this okay if we become seer? Happiness and distress, just seer and don't forget who am I? Yes. Then it's a very heavy strong practice. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> to come in our sarup, to be a viewer. And it's cannot possible if these are capturing you. You will be a doer, not a seer. And when you are a doer, you have to go through this. Mm. <laughs> Without becoming you are you are looking, you are not doing. At the moment we want to do, I have to we get it. Distress, happiness, will come so all will catch you. So you want to become is a sadhana. Is a is a sadhan bhakti in your spiritual consciousness, not material activity. Is a really deep practice through the bhajan, through the guru kripa. That's a major. To be, how to be a viewer, not a doer, then it will catch you for, again in the previous, further circumstances. You have to do it and you will get it. <laughs> That's the point. But whole place, they say sadhana bhakti. 
Anartha Nivirti. Anartha never go out because we never become viewer. We want to be viewer. Anartha will go out. <laughs> Anartha Nivirti, Anartha Nivirti, Bhajan Kriya. Eh? Eh? Nista. Nista will never come, they say. Why not coming? Paul said, because we want to be a doer, to create more. I am a devotee. I am a this, I am a that. So many efforts are put. Yeah. But I am not doing hypocrisy. <laughs> creating my hypocrisy. I not want to be a viewer. I want to be doer. <laughs> like you, sorry. <laughs> I need your mass, Guru Dev. Doer, not viewer. I need to practice it. Why? Guru Kirpa change us to be a viewer. We cannot do it by ourselves. Because he is a, not a doer, he is a viewer, he is looking. What Manjari do? They are looking. They are not a doer. Huh? Who is doer? Radha Mohan is the doer. Mm. And we are the viewer of their pastime. See that? Another question. Yes, sure. 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 Yes, is this my ego? Have a, do I have a chance? This is the mercy. It comes through Gurudev to be a viewer. And it's a normal my life that I am a doer. Because I am a living in ego. <coughs> Sorry to say. I want to do something because I am in ego. <coughs> I am a doer. Yes. Uh, uh, and teachers teach us you are a doer. You are a Vaidhi Bhakta. You have to do. You come to do. Your life do. And become a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> you in your practice you will come to a place where you feel that life is coming to you that you're not going to life the life is arriving you don't have to choose you don't have to make you don't have to decide it will come just like the love it will come to you and flow to you this is where you're going that's you you just watch it come you know these metaphors from meditation practice where you say think you're looking in the river and the things are flowing by this is the idea you do life no, no just to we have a a better, we have a good English word called yes. observing. Yeah. So the observer means that we're out 
Means out. Out. Out of the, of the material conception, the soul consciousness, and observing what is the material body doing? What is the mind doing? Wow. Like this. This is the point. Yeah. We are observer. I there? My constitutional position. But we have to come to my constitutional position to observe. If not, then we will observe from the senses. That's the problem. If I know fix my place, then when I I I am living, I will see from there. Mm. So Prabhupada saying Bhagavad Gita, page four, that we are sarup. And we have to develop perfection in that. So kind. It's so great. We have to know my place and we become an observer from there. This is perfection. Why not we believe this? <coughs> And I think this is Holy Scripture talking on that. And we don't believe. Reading, 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 but no conclusion coming to me to decide it. And who decide it, they don't only with that. Leave it only there. Please, close to this. Then I can outside this. This one book, one line, is Holy Scripture. Talking. Mm. Mm. <laughs> to become observer from your constitutional position. And we want to observe from lower senses, upper senses, and we blame to others, fight with others, and be with others. How we can say that we are no, I'm be with anyone. It's crazy. Why you am be? Love your neighbor, Prophet Jesus said. What means love of your neighbor? Love every living being. That is the teaching of Jesus. Love your neighbor. Who is neighbor? Who is sitting in this room? They are never. And we cannot love deaf people. What type of person? My consciousness is this. House never is never, and who is near to you, they are not never. <laughs> Material katsa. Mm. You see, body never. House is my body, never to never. Body to body. Mm. Love all living beings. But not fall in love with them, serve them. Where to love? The source has to love. And viewer has to that. Source who give me who to feel love your neighbor. That source has to fall there, not fall there. This divine vision, from where it's coming, that has to be always meditate. That is what word you say? Observing. Observe. <laughs> Observe what you <it> say. <coughs> to be in that place. 
So where you can do this from not with material, with, with the divine, divine can go. But when I will see divine, when I will live there, when I will see material, when I am living in material, this is my eye. No blame others, I have to blame myself. Why I am in material? Why I want to see that? This is consciousness. When I will start checking myself why I am living in material, I will want to leave that material. Right or not? This is consciousness. My mistake I have to observe. If I start observing your mistake, it will come to me. Hundred percent. If you go to supermarket, you see the things and buy it. Because you observe this and you buy it. Mm. And then next week it throw it out garbage. Because it's not used. So looking to others, you are buying. And if there is a free Sell, you can take it out how much you can, car can take. You fill the car with that. So other bad things is very easy to get it. So I have to see this a garbage outside in supermarket. I have so many garbages inside in my home before. That has to throw it out. Mm. Right or not? Why not we throw? Because of my previous sanskar. Mm. And we want to throw it out. And I don't like to throw. This is whole life, my savings. How I can throw it? I'm very attached with this garbage. Because when I will die, I will bring with me this. <laughs> I will make the dead body pocket very big to bring everything with me. <laughs> It's interesting, huh? yeah. So if we observe, we get it. At the time of this, we observe material things, material desire, we get it. Yeah, we observe the spiritual thing, Radha Mohan, we get it. Right. Mm. What we will observe, we will get. And from where I want to observe, also is a meaningful. Hmm. But this is the question Do we have to be observed from ego? And we cannot. The answer is no. <laughs> then we can get more ego. Because, because we don't accept it. Was Because it's not suitable to the e old friend. Mm. So we throw it from other ear. So many things we listen a hundred times but not take it. Because of my falsehood. Mm. Hundred times. Mm. Because my old friend said, no, 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 this is not from you, yeah. It's Bogan thing. It's too, it's too high for me. No, <laughs> so lower thing for me. 
Yeah, we are more, ego. more, more. Ego is saying, no? It's These are for not me. good for you. <laughs> you are doer. <laughs> you do. You have a power to do. Ego say. Yeah. You are doer. You are not a viewer. The viewer is an observing. And you can do. You have all capacity. Oh you have energy, you have money, you have a place. Manifest, really. yeah? You can manifest. Manifest. Who <laughs> <laughs> is a very good friend. <laughs> he don't want to he kill you. He want to keep you on. <laughs> wow, my friend. All the friends. All the friends kill us, no? Yeah. Project giving. <laughs> you need a boyfriend? I give you one boyfriend. No, you do. Are you happy? Yes. You are the best. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Old friend, new friend. Yes. And a new friend. He says, observer. You are a power to do. You can do many things. But they are. Then Guru can help this. This is the issue. And why this is happening? Because of my previous karma. This is the meaning. Not because Gurudev has already viewer. So therefore Gurudev could check our old friend. Our Even the Sastra has not viewer. Only philosophy is there. They have no practical experience. Only someone who realizes he can open my chain. One person you need to open your chain. Shastra books will not open your chain without reading to the realized person and who can come to you to open my chain, my blockage. Very By wearing my table, why they move from here? This is my putting feet here. Oh. No, this is yes. for your feet. Oh. <laughs> my feet will swell. So what is the teaching? You have to be doer, sadhan bhakti, sadhan bhakti. Honestly, it is not helping us. We have to do something A, we do B. And we give the name of sadhan bhakti. My God. <laughs> And we never want to be a viewer. We want to be doer. And my false ego never leave me. Why Gurudev can help us? Because he realized it. To how to be a viewer. Actually, Gita Guru Dev say, maybe it's a three chapter or a four chapter. Tamashi does not do anything. So, huh? soul, soul. Uh, so, uh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, soul, soul does not do anything. Only Guna is one. Guna, three modes of nature of doing. 
means if we have ego, three mode nature is kind of that. But actually, and then we should just just watch it. Never, never. This kind of uh, description is there. This the same as Guru Dev said. But we are just seeing it. Oh, this is just you know knowledge. <laughs> we cannot take seriously. And also, Gita's you know uh, twelve chapter thirteen to twelve, uh, no, uh, twenty. So we have read many times. At least I have read many times. But uh, I don't take seriously this, or I don't practice seriously this. This is our problem, uh, my problem. Now I can say you, three chapter is what? Karma Yoga, right? Yes. And three chapter, 370. Mm. Is viewer. Oh. Yes. When Atma will become with Rama, mm. Radha Mo, mm. Das of Radha Mo, mm. read that too. Mm. <laughs> Three seventies. <laughs> Beautiful. This is the Atma Rama. This is the Atma. Atma means soul. Then your gunas live. When it becomes Atma Ram, it becomes Das of Radha. Wow. 370. <coughs> One who is, however, taking pleasure in the self, the Aparati, who is illuminated in the self, <laughs> also again Atma, who rejoices. Really, no, Hindi see Atma. Hmm. Read, see that. What is this? It's Atma, I said. No I said. Atma. Atma Ram. Uh, Atma Rati, it says. Atma Rati. Atma Rati means? Atma Rati. Atma Ram Rati. Atma Ram Rati. Means? Atma, nobody can rati, nobody can love to the light without form. Mm. My form, rati means lust, madness for meeting to my lover. That is Atma. This is uh, Mahaprabhu is teaching to Sanatana Goswami. Sambandha again. One who is, <coughs> however, taking pleasure in the self, Atma Rati. Who is illuminated in the self, Atma Tripta? Wow. Atma Who rejoices fully satisfied. If you are fully satisfied, then you sit there with Atma Rati. Who rejoices in and is satisfied with the self only. Atmani, <laughs> fully satiated, for him there is no duty. That is your conscious. Nothing to do. No work. Observe us. Why do you Wow. All will happen. When I am doing here, Seva, small, 10 people, 15 people, when Radha Mooni start doing, you see how many festivals happening and how is that. I am a viewer all day. I am not big.
One day I was in RT twenty years before. <clears throat> I was singing and dating because five, six person was there on me. Yes, can I? Yes. You remember? Uh, I'm thinking about toilet to make and how to Radha Mohan said to me, Are they full? In my presence also, you see. Think for me. Automatic, many toilets. And everything. The difficult. The difficulty for devotees, and that's this question, you cannot use ego to be observer. You cannot decide to be observer, you can only take it from Guru Mercy. Yeah, that's the point of this. In this, not a small subject. My God, I will always observe with my senses, my body, not my consciousness. And that is the my false ego gift. Understand? Then he starts playing nonsense with me, and he makes me non-devotee. This is my friend who is also ego. That makes me not devotee. I like to be devotee, but he wants to teach me to practice as a non devotee. Misbehave, nonsense, do with all living beings. Mm. Because I want to be doer in that consciousness with my friend, old friend, false ego. See, what? I'm watching this. What is happening to me? I'm, I'm thinking what Uttava also said that if like we are always want to decide ourselves and control the things and then when we decide to not be the doer from our ego then we just become like lazy yeah <laughs> like you become lazy no if you decide now i am not doing so it needs to be the guru kripa no we have to see the mercy of guru and only by this we can be, we can, we, our body will act and he will serve, but we will not feel that it's our effort we, we do, right? Yeah, we think in my false ego, when I do, it's mine. I do good. <laughs> uh, if I don't do, <laughs> Is my depression or something? I have to go to psychologist. <laughs> Why not doing? Is this guy not doing? Because he wants to be pure, not doer. This we not realize. He wants to change himself to doer. And we said, no, we leave doer. If he's not doing it, it's not good. It's not healthy. Doctor says it's not healthy. We want to be pure. <laughs>
But it's not the idea I want to be a viewer. And we want to be a doer to him. And he's not interested in doer. Yesterday he come. It's immediately inspiration come and he went for Kirtan. He did not want to do anything. He watched. Very nice. You want to be viewer, he needs the association how to go this way. This is the point. He don't know this way. So he want to be a viewer, but he don't know the way to move. He's searching for that. This makes me feel good. Right? When you are doer and you want to change your way, you need some time to know yourself how to go through this way. Because this is unknown way. Then we need Guru. So we have Right? Yeah. I understood now, maybe I, I misunderstood that all uh, my thoughts and related to feelings is coming from my material consciousness, ego. from my ego, right? Yeah. So, um, I feel it's so fast happening, a thought is coming and a feeling is coming with, because it's material related. Then I observe, I, I realize it's happening, it creates a certain feeling inside of me. Um, but still, it's. What do you suggest? How. What to do with it? I know it's. It's not useful, you know, for me, this kind of feeling. What is your... What do you think? Better number. Say something. Uttama said it nicely before. He said, let it come to you. You see? Because our tendency when we're struggling, it's a process, right, to, to shift this from false ego, this egocentric position, right? We're talking about position. What is our position? When we're in the center, this is called egocentric, right? We're in that false ego is dominating, and we have this tendency to try to reach things. We're grasping at things. We're trying to realize things through our material conception. Once we shift through the Guru's grace, this is what this whole slope is about. Uh, the Guru removes the ignorance, so he's helping us. He's giving only with his mercy are we able to come out of this egocentric position and then we move into this role of observer. So there's some vacuum there where we have to step out and let the things come to us. You see? And when we step back and we start to just accept and receive the mercy, then the magic starts. Then the wonderful realizations start to come. Service opportunities come. And then everything shifts. It's a shift of consciousness. It's a shift of our existence. From an egocentric material position embedded in the false ego, now we're extricated, we're moved out into a position of servant through the Guru's mercy, through the Prem, coming through the Guru into our heart. We're able to make this transition. So instead of reaching and grasping and striving, endeavoring, which we're, we've done our whole life, right? That's what we're trained to do from children, right? In school, parents, everyone's teaching us how to do this. Go for it, go for it, you know? 
do it, do it, do it, just do it, Nike, just do it, you know? So we have to get out of this. And only with the Guru's help can we do it. But Uddhava was saying, just relax and just let the mercy come to you. And then you'll naturally, it's a natural organic process where you just start to feel, yeah, this is right. You know, you're doing this, no sense of pride, no, set, no conditions, no quid pro quo, I'll do this for you, you do that for me, all of that is gone. All of the bad qualities, the bad, the bad places are all fading away, they're all dissipating through the service. So just let it come to you. We were talking last night, remember about the same thing, let it come to you. It, it's, that's the beauty of the Guru's grace. It's coming to all of us all the time. Just accept it and don't force it, don't push it. You know, sometimes we feel like, oh, everyone else is advancing so nicely. You know, I see the devotees are doing so much service, they're so pure, they're so nice, and I'm so fallen, and I'm not getting anywhere. This is a natural tendency we feel. And and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but just let it let it go and things will will start to happen. Be patient. I think this viewer, to be viewer and surrendering, Sharanagata is very nearly connected. So, yeah, same, it's the same. So we need, uh, if we want to get the mercy of Gurudev, then we, this Sharanagata is necessary. Sharanagata Gurudev, Sharanagata is the Lotus Feet of Radharani. <coughs> this is, I think, uh, and then, then we, we could hear Guru Dev's word. So, but Gondana, Gondana's question is, mm. what, what to do when the bossy thought is coming? Mm -hmm. What to do? When a bossy thought, when a, a negative thought is coming already, then what to do? And then easy to, to get a good association. Because sadhu has very good vibration, very positive vibration. And, or, and then, if we associate, say, if we go to Guru Dev, then slowly, slowly our, our kind of disturbing mind or negative mind become slowly, slowly pacified. But also, if we could observe, the, oh, now I am very negative. Then, you know, we have to do something, oh, maybe I should go to Arctic. Oh, I should meet Guru Dev, I should meet Sadhu, I should chant. Today, I was, I was reading. Why we go to Arati? Or oh, actually, 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 Rarita or other Saki Manjari doing Arati. Then another mom said, Why do Arati? What do you mean Arati? Then removes obstacle, removes the inauspiciousness. This power, Arati has this power there. So therefore, Radha, Radha Mohan do Arati because they want to get rid of obstacles. Because to their meeting, sometimes, you know, uh, mother-in-law problem, sister-in-law problem, make some problem, or some, some rival <laughs> make, make, you know, some trouble. So this, I was so much impressed this this one. Oh, why should we go to Arati? Why should we go to see Radha Mohan? Well, also, why should we go to see Guru Dev? Because this negative thought means inauspiciousness. Also, some obstacle to, to, to advance. This, that, it will be removed. Mm. That's my yeah. That's if I could just add some things. So, practically speaking, again, the position is important. When we go to Arti, Radha Mohan is taking center stage. 
right? They now are in the center. They are occupying the center. Now, now we are not in the center anymore. We, if they are in the center, we cannot be in the center. Yeah, you see, we're, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with Guru. When we're coming to Guru, automatically, he is in center. Yeah. We are not. We are not important. You see, we are not in the center. You see, it's kind of a, it's a natural thing that you can't feel that I am in center when you are standing in front of Ramon. <laughs> you know, you, you know what I'm saying? The experience is very pure. It's very nice. That's all. You know, you surrender to them. You love them. You worship. They become, right, the object of your love. So instead of us being like, oh, I'm in the center, I want people to love me, I want people to look at me, right? This is a natural tendency in material consciousness. You, we dress up, we put on nice clothes, makeup, you know, everyone look at me, how beautiful I am, you know? Now, Radha Mohan are taking that position. They're in the center. And then we step out, and that's when we start being the observer. And then the server, from the observer comes server, right? Very good point, because this Dua means and I want to be enjoyer. Yes. Observer means I want to I want to be a server. So this Guru Dev, you know, this this word, this Guru Dev changes viewer and viewer or observer and do. But this is another place say. We want to be enjoyer, we want to be a servant, which one we want to do. Especially we want to do maid servant radical. Then if we have a little bit tendency, this Purishabhima, I want to enjoy, then we cannot be rather than. And to the casual person outside, he doesn't see any difference in the activities, right? So someone's cooking, someone's sleeping in the temple, Someone's doing spirituality, they don't see that this is done with spiritual consciousness. But we're doing the same activities, but there's a huge difference. It's like a mirror, it's like an opposite yeah, quality. So one is negative, one is positive, you see? Like we have integers, right? You can have minus two and plus two, right? The value. The absolute value is the same, but the we know there's difference between plus and minus. The same material spiritual world, we're doing some activity in a material consciousness for some material benefit. This is a negative value. We do the same exact activity for Guru, for Radha Mohan, then it takes on a positive value. Same, same activity. Same activity looks the same, but we know the feeling is different. The benefits, everything is different. It's a spiritual activity now, not a material activity. So maybe, maybe Uttabaji can clear a more simple one. Huh? It's not. Uh, no. 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 Deve capire come dice di vero la torre cosa vuole cosa vuole dire a chi è se vogliamo we want to know it's spiritual. And Krishna is the main source of the spiritual. When we know, we not have we want to develop feelings and relations. Then Krishna sent me. Where can I? I can receive it. This is Krishna mercy. 
if he don't like to show me, and we are not qualified for his spiritual consciousness, he never gives it. Never gives it. So many life is misused to develop my spiritual life. He not need any false ego to develop that time. I cannot serve to Radhika without, if I know practice, because she is the beloved of Krishna. I have to be qualified, then he will introduce me. Because with the false ego, I cannot serve. That moment Guru Kripa can change me. But if I want ready for that, so Nishtha never comes. Faith coming, doubtful faith. The day firm faith will come in Easter Day. The goal. To Gurudev, my sarup will come. And that is the purity where the false ego never touched. That is my constitutional position. And that fixed means I become viewer. Simple. Hmm. I want to be a viewer. Viewer can be not come in false ego. Because I am not doer. Hmm. I am a doer, false ego will catch me. Seven, three, seventeen, Atmarati. Atmarati, Atma. Atma. Tripta. Tripta means fully satisfied with my constitution and position. And I am tripta of what to search. So that means Guru Dev. If someone who has a strong faith, Nishta or Ishta Deva and Guru Deva and Automatic it will come. And then swaru, but then we can become a viewer. Otherwise uh, kind of up and down. That is the catching false. Means we need a kind of style. Style, style. That is constitutional. This is constitutional. <coughs> Then you have a kalpa taru, mm. kalpa bhiksha. Mm. What you will think it will happen, but you will not like to think outside. Material thing, opponents to be a hundred percent controlling following. You see, I meet now and I escape immediately. Formal meeting, I never go to the inside to be with them. All they come. Hello, hi, and keep it. <laughs> <laughs> One day. <Yeah. laughs> formal. Where to be formal, where to be close. Admiralty is Wow. means someone who has a very strong eagerness or some desire, spiritual desire, then Guru Dev reacts. But the, if we can satisfy him, he is Atma Tripta. Mm. Why he will satisfy Only mercy, no? you can react. This is Guru Dev. This is Guru Dev.
Actually, this view of the stage is, you know, it seems very easy, but actually very hard stage. <laughs> because self the stage is a view of stage. Fixed. Yeah, completely fixed, non don't move this constitution and position. Buddha is talking like this backwards. Yes. Mm. Yes. I know this. So, he is See, he got it. Yeah, you're massive. Oh, Maybe he don't talk anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did. Maybe did not realize it. Did not, did not, did not know himself. But the outside person, oh, you, you get so much mercy from Guru Dev and Radha We could realize it. But sometimes, you know, Himself, sometimes I don't know, he, he does not understand, you, know, you may not understand. But outside person, we could say, oh my God, Dabaji gets so much mercy. What I cannot see is in Bhagavad I cannot tell like Uddhavaji, you know, honestly, I can be impossible for me to explain like Uddhavaji. Surprise. Surprising. Even Suniti also say, we are saying, we cannot uh, talk like Uttam. I remember he said me, how many will come to listen? I said, many will. And he said, we have to collect someone to listen. So we try to make four, five. And now see sixties, seventies. Yes. It's so tasteful. Even 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 non devotee may understand also. But ordinary person could understand. It is Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita. And other Bhagavad Gita is not like Prabhupada. Is Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita? Somebody want to write higher than this? I said, foolish. <laughs> they are fools. Innocent person can, he relies like Anandas Babaji and he is writing. This is Bhagavad. I see everything is coming from Vilapu Sumanjani mm. in Bhagavad Gita. Oh. Huh? You see the Vilapu Sumanjali and Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita. Very combination. Good combination. <laughs> <laughs> but if you understand, and his Bhagavad Gita you understand when you understand Vilapu Sumanjali. You will cry. What a merciful man he is. Mm -hmm. To preparatory school, class, study, boys, he give everything. Is that it? If you sign to Krishna, then you will know. What is the alternative code? Ultimate. 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 Sorry. And nobody signed. We hear nobody can know. <laughs> no, nobody can know that. My have signed it, see, he knows. Wow. Hmm. Nobody wants to believe it. Nobody knows. My Balramji knows. He signed it. Mm. Balram, 
So this is all the scripture you realize yourself. What about this? After you give any place to explain, you will be explained. This is the the big hurry, the pragas. This divine reason. When come to the heart, everything becomes crystal clear. Sundar explained, you can feel that He is your, He is watching the past. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. What I think, 
They're all preparations. Preparation, yeah. Preparation. Mm -hmm. So many life prepare to to remove our karma. But I don't want to leave my old friend, false ego, because I want to be doer. <laughs> my ego is so high, I don't know. You are not dead, my God. Mahatma is greater. You save me also. Yeah, I. Bhaya, to know where we are on the spiritual plane, or we, we read our hearts like a map. There are places where there's pure love and there are places where there's false ego or there's not pure love. This is where we're situated. All the different feelings we have, some reflect pure love and everyone, some reflect not pure love. That's where we are in our lives. People, things, with memories, with and where to go is to clean the places where the love is not pure. Yet. <laughs> Could you say again? So if I ask where to go, where am I and where to go? The place to go is towards the places where the love is not pure yet. And then we try to put away the false ego and can purify it like this. That <laughs> nuance. Yes, actually, he didn't ask where to go, but he asked me, I will search and have to check what you, we want and where we want to go. This is what I understood where to go. Yeah, yeah. No, no, do, do, ognuno deve chiedersi dove. No, everyone. Dove, dove è e dove vuole andare. Everyone has to ask to himself, to check, to. Altrimenti, altrimenti si, si trova magari a, a fare delle pratiche, però nella mente desidera. Maybe he, he does some, some kind of uh, practice that is not how to say fit or what you really want. Beh, questo è normale perché siamo anime condizionate. This is normal because we are conditioned so. Però you are not conditioned. No, no, we are not. No, no, siamo Because we are pure spirit. Perché noi siamo Pure spirit is mine. But my false ego creates this condition that your senses enjoy the senses. You check other senses. This is the goal of your life. <laughs> if you are female, only watch male senses. And if you are male, you are a smart boy. You see the female. I see my parents, family also do that. This habit comes to me out. And the previous sanskara, genetic also. I inherit from genetic also. My previous sanskara means my karma. My gene has a bad karma. It will come to me. If he has a good, good karma, it will come to me. All this, all the what you written here, karma, 
go like this. So if you watch yourself, genetic energy also working inside us. From family and family genetic. So we all come here to Vrindavan, right? Not only we come to Vrindavan, but we come to this wonderful environment, this community. And really, why we're here is association, yeah? Because we have the Guru here, physically he's here, we're with him. Every time we come, we take shelter of his lotus feet. So being here, physically being here, has a tremendous effect, very strong, powerful effect. And when we're in Vrindavan, there's so many saints, we go to Barsana, we have Vidod Baba, we go to uh, Radha Kund, and there's Mahanidhi Baba, and Guru Dev, and, and each other, you know? So among us, you know, we have so good intentions. There's a lot of purity already there, you know, we shouldn't underestimate. And having darshan, all of these experiences, which are, they, they look to be kind of physical, material things, they're not, they're totally spiritual in nature. In this sadhu sangha, right, this association is really what we need. Without the association, it's really difficult, we know. That's why we come here, because when we're isolated, we're gone, we have shastra, we have mantra, all of these things are great, you know, they keep us really kind of in a neutral position, so we're not falling more and more and more into the, into the ocean of material existence, they're keeping us on the surface, so to speak. But still, without coming here, without having that association, taking the shelter physically here, Having the darshan of our mind, without having these experiences, it's difficult to make progress, right? To get rid of this false ego. And if you really look at the day you, before you arrived and how you feel today, and you observe it's inside, then you, you feel the good change, you feel the difference, right? We see it in each other, you know, sometimes you say, oh, this person, when they came, you know, they were confused, they were unhappy, and now look, after two weeks, they're shining, they're glowing. You know, with this love, and we see it, it's tangible, it's real, you know, it's a miracle actually. One thing come to me, by your distance, out of Vrindavan, and inside Vrindavan, what is different? Only inside Vrindavan you can be a viewer. And wow. what you recommend eh, to go, they are all to be here. They are not doers. Like Mahanidhi song. I recommend to you. Vinod Baba recommend. If you go and take the vibration, you will feel they are not doers, they are viewers. Only in Vrindavan. Out of Vrindavan you go. Everyone will say you have to do what? Okay. So I am influenced to be a doer, not to be a viewer. So what we have want to practice, where I can do this? Mm. Where the same association is there. Mm. And this same association, only you can receive in a Brajbhumi. Mm. No other place in the universe. This is the speciality of Brajbhumi. Oh. Go ahead, please. I went to Mayapur, Navadhi, and Puri. All they are teaching to me. 
B come to her. Oh. Oh. Go on, see. I got. I am impressed. I got that. Once I went, next time I not go. Because this is not my moment. To be doer. But who likes to be doer? They like it. <laughs> Viewer is more relishing than doer. When you do, mistake happen, success, unsuccess, then you have to take the pain, and that is false. And when the you viewer, you go to the cinema hall, maybe tears can come or theater by the. Story, hmm. but when you come out, you not. If it's a good story, you think, but you not involved. Viewer means not is want to be in flow only of the past time. He want to be waiting for that, praying for that. He cannot do anything. It happens, and he does that, right? That is the difference. Bring down an equation. Here's equation. Yes, equation. When in life, I see present no problems material, and maybe I have to. So, problemi lavorativi, problemi della di famiglia o con uh, altre persone, come mi devo comportare? Cioè è giusto che io li affronti o mi dovrei magari distaccare, praticare e quindi lasciare i problemi da un'altra parte, diciamo? He's asking a practical question. He says, uh, when uh, in my life uh, I have to face uh, um, problems maybe in my family life or in my in my job, uh, what I have to do just uh, to try uh, resolve or face them, or simply let let them uh, be, be detached and do When you are in the family life, first you have to be balanced. And slowly practice, not become unbalanced. We have to balance it. Like it. I manage. I bring one girl to my home. Why marriage means what? What is the meaning of marriage? I took your responsibility. I will earn that we can be happy now. I will work together, live together. And if your personal requirement I will fulfill, what is personal requirement? Private If I'm your husband, your sense is required, I will fulfill that sense. This is the private thing. She will not go to other man for that. Right? That's my duty. That is my service. I said, no, 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 I'm a renounced person. No, no, it's not working. Right? So private thing to care, her welfare to care, and protection. If I can, I, I'm a husband of some lady and I cannot give protection to her, what type of man I am? How I will love to protect anyone? So these are the balancing. This is also we learn to understand. And the service, you can use this 
in the service. That now more not to do. <laughs>